myself, Perry, and Mr. Dunn's were following. Before we were even out of the city limits, I told Perry Smith that Hickok had given other agents a statement. Perry could see Hickok in the car ahead, and Hickok was talking. Perry Smith had taken offense to what was told law enforcement by Hickok. Perry said to us, isn't he tough? Look at him talk. Then he said, Hickok had told me if we were ever caught that we weren't going to say a word. But there he is, just talking his head off. Perry Smith, you know, was on the trip home when he started discussing the actual case uh, with Agent Dewey. With a sudden burst of anger, he said, now I'm going to tell you what happened. The meltdown starts. <laughs> I got this letter from Dick while I was in Buell, Idaho. He said he had what he called some setup that was a cinch. I never would have left if it hadn't been for this so-called invitation from Dick to come down to Kansas City. Smith said he came to Kansas City by bus from Las Vegas on November 11th. Dick met me in the bus station. He told me all about this cinch. Smith said that he stayed overnight on November 13th at the home of Dick's parents in the small town of Edgerton. Next morning, they had put new tires on Hickok's car, and shortly after lunch, they left Olathe for Holcomb. We had Dick's shotgun and a hunting jacket full of shells and extra shells. All this in the trunk of the car. We bought some cord and Empora. In the store, Dick asked how much we would need. I told him, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. And Dick said to the clerk, well, hell, give it all to us. 